Hey, well, today we're going to go out and do functional tests. A couple of them, not a bunch. We're going to at least check for codes. I think I have a code 98 right now, which is compressor exceeds runtime, but we'll go see. Uh, maybe I'll find something else. I mean, that's what the, the functional tests are good for. Uh, setup's real simple. Connect the Superstar 2 to the right-hand strut connector. The, the oddball part of this test is the air ride control has to be off in the trunk. We don't want the computer to be running these tests. We want the Superstar 2 to be running them. And that's why the air ride's got to be off. Um, key on, door is closed. They probably would work if it was open, but I don't know. Because it won't vent if the doors are open. That would probably lock it out. But that's simple. I mean, the only oddball is got to have the air ride switch off in the trunk. Let's go get it and uh, see what we find out. Okay, well, a couple of the first steps. First thing I need to do is turn off, turn off the switch in the trunk. It's got to be off for any functional test. Key's going to be on. Okay, I've already got my air conditioner and my radio off. Well, the test up is the same. We've got it hooked up into the suspension EVO test port. I'm going to turn power on and see where she's at in the test sequence. I'm going to push this down. That's 216. I don't want that. I want 211. So I'm going to push the key down and let it scroll around to 211. So I'm going to scroll down to 228 and then 211. Turn that off just because it's noisy for right now. We don't need it. Twenty-eight. Next one's two eleven, and we'll punch up, and then we'll go back down, and we'll go into test two eleven, which is going to show us what the functional codes are. Any errors? Sorry, any errors that we currently have. I am expecting to have an error ninety-eight. 99. Huh, I'll have to go look up what 99 is. I think that it is uh, one of the struts is a, is a different height than the others. Now to clear those, I want to go all the way down to 228 again. Just going to let it scroll down and come up. Then go back down. Now it's going to start scrolling. 228 will clear all codes. And we'll stop it on 228. Oh, I didn't get there quite yet. Oh, there we did. I had code 15. That should have cleared it. Go back to 211. Push down. Should be gone. Yep, code 15, everything's clear. 211 is show me the codes. 212 is going to pump up the left strut. Turn the speaker on. Pressure comes on. Left strut's going to start pumping up. I see your right coming up. And the beeping is the height sensor. When it goes solid, it's going to be a trim height. And this is where I'm having a little bit of trouble with this compressor. It doesn't seem to have much oomph to it. You see it just completely stopped. And what I'm going to end up getting is a code 99, which is compressor exceeds runtime. So that was a fun test. Turn it off. 213 will air up the right hand to 14. 13. 14. 
So now this one's going to open and it's going to come up. This compressor just seems awfully weak to me. Listen to the beep. It will go solid when we're actually at trim height, if we ever really get there. Come on, just a little bit more. There it is. So that is trim height. I'm gonna go get a tape measure. Okay, now that should be 24 and a quarter. That's what I've got it set for. And it's pretty darn close. 24.2. And you measure it from the bottom of the rim. That's how you run the different functional tests. It's pretty simple. All of them are exactly the same. Probably the most difficult thing for me was to remember to turn off the stupid switch in the trunk. Now, if I want to continue to try to inflate the left-hand side, I've got to scroll it all the way back around to 212. And the same thing, you can listen to the height sensor with the beeps. That's why the speaker is it's critical to have to be able to work. We want 212. 211. 212. I'm going to unlatch the whole test switch and I'm going to relatch it. And the compressor will turn on. The solenoid will open. And she'll continue to pump until it should get to be about 24 and a quarter. Still an inch low. Boy, just barely moving. So that's, that's showing my, my trim was at 23 and 3 quarters, which is probably why I had that code 99 when we first turned it on, because that one is sitting different than this one. So there's a mismatch in the two sides. I think the, the rears are set at 24 and a quarter, too. That one's at 25, so I need to check all of these, don't I? And this one is set at 24 and a quarter. So, yep, I need to check them. Of course, it's kind of strange on the rears because there's just one height sensor. And I don't know why, my one side always sits higher than the other one. Uh, go figure, somebody could try, probably explain that to me. I don't have the answer to it. But for what we are doing, that's how you run the functional test. That should be good enough for now. Okay, well that was fun, wasn't it? Didn't have a code 98, had a code 99. And definitely found out that we're a little off level there. So somebody needs to get in there and adjust those height sensors. But that's good because that can be our next uh, video. Uh, actually, that was going to be the next one. Now I've got a real purpose to go do it. I uh, hope that helps a little bit. All the functional tests are the same. It just, you know, it's just time consuming, especially since you have to scroll from the top to the bottom to the top to the bottom and keep going around. I wish you could go, you could just scroll up and down but it's just not designed to do that. So, good luck. I hope that uh, this helps, and take care.